Most people don't know where they're going to be in the next five years, so why are you shopping for a home like you're actually gonna live there for the next 30 years just because you got a 30-year mortgage? Spoiler alert, you're not going to live in that home for the next 30 years. It's not gonna happen. So today we're gonna talk about alternative types of properties where you could live there with very low overhead, maybe make some money, or possibly live there rent free. I know, it's so exciting. This is Taya's Two Cents. A while back I made a TikTok that was all about why not buy a duplex, a triplex, or a fourplex, live in one of the units, and rent out the others. I made that TikTok and it got almost a million views. A million views. There were a lot of people who agreed with me. There's a lot of haters on TikTok, but it's pure entertainment if you ask me. Back to this video, people had a lot of things to say. But what I want to tell you guys right now is in the climate of this real estate market, there are unprecedented bidding wars going on. There are upwards of 80 offers on some properties here in Los Angeles. It's absolutely crazy. So I'm telling my clients, why not take a step back and let's think short term. Let's think where you're going to be in the next four years. What if you could live in one of those units? Maybe you don't have young children yet. Maybe you're not even planning on having a family. Maybe you're a single person. If you're a single person, this is for you. Let's just say you find a fourplex. You find a four unit building where there's one studio apartment and the rest are much larger units which yield a lot more rental income. If you lived in that smaller unit and rented out the other three units, you would actually make money. You would live there rent free and make money if you do this right. And even if the numbers don't pencil on another property because maybe the rents are low, perhaps you'd break even or better yet, your monthly payment would be really small. The point is there are options out there for you. You don't have to buy a condo as your first property. You don't have to buy a single family home as your first property where you're scraping together all your money just to get into that big property that you really dreamed of. Why not think of this as a stepping stone? Think of this as that getting on the escalator moment where you get that first property and you live there for a couple years and then you move out because the average American stays in their home for seven to 10 years. And I would argue that that recent statistic is probably a lot lower. So think about it. Look, instead of for single family homes, I want you to look for duplexes, triplexes, and fourplexes. Why? Because you can still get a residential loan where that interest rate is still lower. And mind you, interest rates are on the rise. We'll get to that in a future episode but make sure that you're also looking at these other properties because there are so many more opportunities out there than you think just when you look on the MLS. But that's just my two cents. So if you have any questions, you wanna get a conversation going, this is blowing your mind, you wanna schedule a time to talk to me, go ahead and comment below, slide in the DMs, and don't forget to subscribe and like and hang out here because I love making these videos and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye for now.